Well, there seems to be no end to Nigeria's lingering petrol scarcity in the country. The queues at the fuel stations seem to get longer by the day, causing traffic gridlock at several locations, even as black market traders take advantage of the situation, selling at more than twice the official pump price. Ben Abakede was at some fuel stations and brought back this report. The ever-present queues now a more than familiar sight at the few petrol stations that have products to sell. Some fuel stations have simply stopped selling. Arguably, this has to be the longest and probably most complicated petrol crisis in the city of Lagos and probably other cities across Nigeria, lasting since October 2022 up until mid-January 2023. And the worst part is, there doesn't seem to be any end in sight and no one is given a conclusive solution or reason as to why this petrol scarcity is lingering on. At certain stations where petrol was available, the situation was chaotic. People having to stay on long queues for hours, hoping that the pumps don't run dry before it gets to their turn. It's not, it's not been easy. I've been here since 8 o'clock. It should be around after 3 by now. For now, we've not seen any reason stated. No single message from the federal government that this is the reason why you guys are having these kiosks around your few stations around. But not far from the station selling petrol, black marketers can be seen freely hawking petrol in jerry cans of different shapes and sizes. While the station attendants claim they do not sell to customers in jerry cans for this same reason, some believe the black marketers tip the attendants so as to buy in jerry cans only to resell at twice the pump price. This is the only station I noticed are selling 185. Others are selling 240, 270. They are even in the same environment. But as it is now, they are not selling 185. That's why we have much queue. Where people can't afford the 240. They can only afford the, two, the 185. It's finding it difficult to buy French cake. Because each time we come, they say um, they, they are not selling because of the black market people are around. But for me, I think it's from the free station because they are the one allowing the black markets to sell around. The question at this point would be, what exactly is the official pump price of petrol in Nigeria? The Petroleum Product Pricing Regulatory Agency, PPPRA, is responsible for determining the pricing of petroleum products in addition to other duties. But as at the time this report was compiled, there has been no official statement from the PPPRA. Since almost everything in Nigeria is related to the use of petrol, the ripple effect of the petrol scarcity and hike in price is already being felt as the general cost of living skyrockets. No one knows for certain when this petrol scarcity will eventually come to an end or if the pump price of petrol will once again be regulated and be uniform. But one thing is sure, whoever takes the mantle of authority after Nigeria's general elections in February must have a concrete and lasting plan for Nigeria's petrol issues. Bernard Akede, reporting for News Central.